absolutely thrives on Jeopardy. I don't believe that Virgin could be what it is today if he hadn't have done the boat crossings and the balloon crossings. We're going to space. I'm Branson, Sir Richard Branson. Conquering the music industry, travel, and even going to the moon. Richard Branson and his 10 rules of greatness. Check them out. If you're going to have a group of people together, they must be happy people. Mm -hmm. um, and if they're gonna be happy people, uh, they've got to be led by somebody who is happy themselves, um, who loves people, uh, who cares generally about people, and um, who looks, looks for the best in people, who uh, is somebody who doesn't criticize uh, but who praises and, and brings out the best in people. So, um, so we look for people who are, uh, you know, are great leaders of people because they, um, because they genuinely care about people and, uh, and, um, and I think, you know, we, we're lucky at Virgin, that those, that's the kind of people we've got. Uh, to become an entrepreneur is not easy, mm. and, um, and a lot of people who try to become entrepreneurs, they fail a, 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 along the way, uh, but uh, good ones pick themselves up and they try again, they try again until they succeed. Um, and you know, what, what an entrepreneur needs to do, first of all, is come up with an idea that will make a positive difference to other people's mm. lives. And if you've, got, if you've got an idea that's going to make a positive difference to other people's lives, you've got a chance of building a business. Um, and then you need to get a great group of people around you um, who believe in what you're trying to do. Um, and then you need to just say, you know, screw it, let's do it and, and get, get, get on and try it. You know, it's, it sounds easier said than done and, and I know how difficult it is. I mean, when I started in business age 15, um, you know, I would stand outside, um, you know, concerts handing out leaflets for a, a small little mail order company, you know, trying to sell records. Um, and you know, and as people sent me in the money, I'd then go and buy the records and then send it to them. And, um, you know, and so, you know, it, it can be a very hand to mouth existence to, you know, to start up and, you know, build, build a company. Um, um, but, you know, enormously rewarding if you succeed. Uh, not everyone is going to succeed as an entrepreneur, but, um, you know, but it's worth giving it a try. Any time I see, see that something can be done better, uh, we jump in and we try to create something um, you know, extraordinarily better than anybody else is doing it. Failure is a wonderful way of learning. If you're not taking risks, you're not going to achieve anything and sometimes you're going to fall flat in your face. Uh, fortunately, uh, I've learned the hard way in some times and, and uh, we've been successful more often than we've failed. I think you motivate by people by genuinely caring about people, um, uh, by putting your, your staff first, um, even more, even more, more uh, even ahead of the um, uh, your customers, um, and uh, by giving them uh, a product uh, that is is the best in its field. So give them the tools to do the job properly. So if you have an airline, you know, make sure every single little detail is is right in that plane, so that when the staff work on the plane, you know, they're not going to have to have passengers complaining that, you know, that the meat dish is not on board or the films are no good or the seat is uncomfortable or it's dirty or, you know, all, all the things that can happen. You just got to make sure that you, you know, you're, you are the best airline flying in the world um, and then your staff can be uh, proud of it, uh, they can be smiling and then the passengers will smile and you'll have a successful company. I was um, uh, dyslexic. Um, I, I had no understanding of schoolwork whatsoever. Um, I, I, I certainly would have, would have failed IQ tests, um, and uh, and you know it's one of the reasons I left school at school when I was 15 years old. And if I you know, if I'm not interested in something, you know I, I, I'm, I'm uh, you know I just don't I don't grasp it. I mean, there's the story about your, your mother allegedly dumping you in a field and, at age four and saying, OK, walk home. And what, what, did no, this really she, happen? I mean, she was, um, you know, she 
felt that we needed to stand on our own two feet from an early age. So she did, she did things to us, which now she'd be arrested for. Uh, so, yeah, such as you know, telling, pushing us out of the car and telling us to find our own way to Granny's uh, um, about five miles before we actually got there. Um, and, um, and making us, making us go on you know, wonderful long bike rides and never, we're never allowed to watch television. Uh, I just love learning and I'm incredibly inquisitive and um, I love taking on the, you know, the, the status quo and trying to turn it upside down. So, um, so I've seen life as one long, one long learning process and if I see, you know, if I, you know, if I fly on somebody else's airline and find the experience is, is, is not a pleasant one, which it wasn't 21 years ago, uh, then I think, well, you know, maybe I can create the kind of airline that I'd like to fly on. And, um, so, you know, so, so um, got one of the second hand 747 from Boeing and gave it a go. I think the next stage is, um, you know, is to be a great delegator um, and not try to do everything yourself. Try to find people who are better than you all the time. Try to find people who are better than you to put you, put you out of business effectively. So, um, you know, whatever you're spending all, all your day doing, try to find someone who's better than you to do that, to, to replace you at it, so that you, know, you can go off and you know, think about the next big picture. Um, you know, an entrepreneur is not a, man, not a manager. I mean, an entrepreneur is somebody who um, is great at uh, conceiving ideas, um, starting, starting ideas, build, building ideas, but then handing over to really good managers to manage the businesses. You know, the moment you've got more than one business, you can't be hands-on doing everything. Well, you know, it sounds strange coming from me because I, I have uh, put my life at risk on many, many different occasions and been fortunate to survive. Um, but I do actually enjoy life enormously um, and, I've, and there's a lot more to achieve. And so I think that, you know, I will take calculated risks in, you know, say, you know, trying to go to the bottom of the ocean in a little submarine or going to space or whatever. But I'll, I'll certainly make sure that the, the, cr the crafts <laughs> are, are, well, are well tested before going next time. Uh, so, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can die, uh, die in my bed an old man one day. My trip to space was definitely, um, yeah, the most incredible 24 hours of my life. And uh, getting the sort of feedback from people who've been on a virgin voyage is they seem to indicate that uh, you know, that, that, that it's been the experience of a lifetime for them. Richard, I have to ask, do you have any plans of slowing down? It doesn't look like it to me. I, I certainly have no wish ever to slow down. Obviously, there will come a time where the body says enough's enough. But, um, but I, think it, I think you really can keep your body like it was when you were in your 20s um, for much longer than people think. You said before, uh, real leaders see opportunities where others only see challenges. Explain that. I, I look at everything as an opportunity. Uh, so, you know, I'm, po I'm positive about life generally, and I generally feel that you can, you can um, find ways of solving problems and making things work. And, you know, I'm definitely a, a sort of glass, uh, you know, ne ne nearly full kind of person rather than a, a glass half full. So. You know, I think I think um, out of out of being just a generally positive person, you can, you can make positive things happen. The overarching and key thing that really binds the group together is the idea of uh, not just playing the game, but changing it for good. I think Richard embodies the principles better than anyone I've ever worked with and anybody that I know, because he's very focused on b business on starting new businesses, on making sure that he's got the right people in the businesses, but also on doing things differently and really changing the game. And I, I think that it's the combination of those that sets him apart as the great entrepreneur of his generation. So if you just watched Richard Branson's 10 Rules of Greatness, hopefully you've learned a lot and you can adapt some or one of these rules to your life. So if 10 of them are too much, just take one or two and start implementing that in your life today. Let me know which rule you're gonna start implementing in your life today.